This is the center tail light for the Red Baron. I actually just got one of these. Um, it's pretty rusty, so I sandblasted it, and this is just an automotive primer. I'm going to paint it bright silver inside, and that goes on the uh, that little tailgate I have um, with the single brake light. Somebody moved it to the middle. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I have a single picture of that, but I took all the sockets out, and I took this nasty reflective wannabe thing out. And check that for now. That's a starter bolt. But I have the sockets. They're actually not broken. I'd like to turn these to LEDs and swap them around a little. It looks like you can go single to dual or who knows what. I think the top and bottom are singles, but we'll find out. Um, it's a rainy Saturday. Rich's trike's out here. The engine to Rich's trike is in a hundred pieces, maybe more. Um, this is what happened to his engine. Oh boy. It got so hot it fried the rings to the pistons and they are not coming out. Um, I don't know what all this damage is on the corner, but it appears that there was something in the jug. I don't know if it's after it sat for a while or what, but this, I don't know what that is. It's where somebody put like epoxy. Oh, that's melted aluminum. <laughs> that's what that is. That's the remains of his piston. Holy shit. I was like, what is that stuff? It looks like, it looks like glue. It's aluminum. Wow, this thing got really, really hot. Every head bolt you can pretty much take off with your fingers. The jugs tapped right off. Um, this is one, this is piston number one. This is jug number one. That's why it's over here. So number one got real hot. And I'm surprised because it's usually the other two because this had an in-house uh, oil cooler right there. And... Um, I'm really surprised because usually those two that overheat. Uh, it appears that it was ran out of oil and it got pretty hot. Oh, excuse me. When I did uh, tear this thing down, um, this was the piston I could reach. So it was kind of a lucky thing. I put my finger on it, hit the key with no plugs in any of the holes, and there isn't even a puff out of this thing. You can hold the pressure back. Surprisingly enough, his heads aren't bad. There's no real damage. They just got really hot. Let me get you over here. There's no real damage. They aren't that bad. But they're single ports. He wants dual port because we're going to build a 16, but he's going to end up buying jugs. So I'm working on some little stuff. I'm playing with a tail light for the Red Baron. Um, he's ordering a ton of parts for this engine. Uh, like you seen earlier, I rebuilt two distributors. Here's my little work phone. Here's my little tablet. And... I have another camera. I bought this today for a couple bucks. Mine's junk. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought these little scissor things. I know these are like plant trimmers, but they are razor sharp. Fiskers? Are these Fiskers? They might be. But good for cutting wires and wire ties, things like that. Just don't keep them in your pocket. You're going to get stabbed. Oh, this is the brush I got for a dollar. I almost bought two more, but I don't need them. It's my collection of screw bits. <laughs> But I'm um, going to mess with a few small things, maybe clean up, I doubt it. Um, his engine really needs to have the flywheel removed and probably split the case. And I might have, maybe have all three engines hot tanked. we got that one there that I've been playing with, of which I have a good crank for. That's the one that was on the stand. It's pretty nasty, but that's all that was nasty. That's when all the parts are in the green bin. The green bin is right there. This is riches. It's all over the flow. Like I said, this one could stand to be torn down and uh, get the aluminum out of it. And I have another, I have a small stud case over here that I'd like to get hot tanked after I pull the crank out of it. Split the cases and we'll have that hot tanked. The crank doesn't look too bad. It's just surface rusty. I believe this is a dual relief case too. Yeah, there's one there. And maybe one buried in the grease in here. Yeah, I'm not sticking. Yeah, there's two. Dual relief cases. One here and one here. That's a good engine. Probably 70s. Uh, I bet it says AE or something on it. Let's take a look. Maybe you can see it. AH357600. And that looks like a pretty good case. It was also an automatic because it has that uh, top dead sensor, top dead center sensor, something like that. And it had an automatic flywheel on it. And amazingly enough, the dowel pins aren't bad either. So this crank can be polished up and reused too. 
I have just crap on it because that's what happens. So this is a pretty good case. It's got the tabs. Not that you need them. I usually cut them off anyway. Um, it's not corroded. It's actually greasy, which is a good thing. These things usually disintegrate here and here for some reason. A little bit of water gets in there. They're not aluminum. They're like, um, I don't know what it is, like a magnesium or something. They're just, it, it's terrible. It corrodes so bad, and it only corrodes really bad on the bottom for some stupid reason. Um, there was a, I think it was this case, there was a little extra bracket on one of these cases, and I was like, what the hell is that? I don't know. Looks good inside, just old and dirty. But that's three cases, two of which I have to split, that one and this one. I think I'm going to put some numbers on these things, like I'll put a three and a three, or and a one and a one, just so I know what case goes with what, because the serial number over here doesn't tell me that this is the case for it, and when they're cleaned, you're not going to know the difference. So I went from having no Volkswagen engines to having like four Volkswagen engines, maybe three. One, two, three, yeah I got four. One of them is just a case, but all right, having fun. I think I'm going to split this one for Rich. Um, I'm going to get rid of that electric fuel pump, I hope, too, and go back to mechanical. There's no reason for an electric fuel pump. That's just scary with a Volkswagen. It doesn't understand that the engine has stopped, and you can just pump gasoline all over the hot engine if a line comes off, and then you're driving a ball of fire. But this looks good. That'll be drying a little bit. 21 5 watt blah blah oh it's a Hella manufactured by Hella that's nothing great you're not even going to see it it goes inside I'm going to paint it bright silver like I said box of junk bunch of junk bunch of junk bunch of skulls here's all of his exhaust here's his supposed highway flyer transmission now I'm reading this thing and it says stock all over it 12 volt swing, 412 RP stock. I don't know if that means the transmission is stock and the guy bullshitted us about it or what, but that's not good. This is a stock tranny. Why are we putting it on when his is fine? Anyway, I'll have to call uh, right gearbox and see what they say. Anyway, I am going to take this flywheel off, take that crank pulley off. And maybe pop some pistons out, get all those studs out. That's going to be a lot of work. And hopefully split this case and see what's going on inside. Because I don't want to run it like that, all that crap in there. That is aluminum. All right, have a good day. I'm going to be ripping things apart. Well, it didn't take long. And Rick's case is down to nothing. Rich. Um, all the studs are removed, all the pistons are removed, all the jugs, the heads, everything's removed. Dual carburetors, cranks outside. I did paint the silver. Try to let it dry. Not too shabby. I gotta flip it over, paint the other side because I did primer first after I sandblasted it. Um, yeah, what a mess. But it's all in fun. Clutch, pressure plate, not too shabby. It's not really worn. Flywheel's good. No cracks, no missing teeth. I have all the clips. I lose them this time. And the spring for the distributor. Um, I was looking at the other case that was out here. And it has the short studs. I need those three short studs on the top for the, uh, when you go to a 1600 dual port. Four, I believe, of the top bolts. These two. And the other two on the other side. Are just a little bit shorter than the other. Not that you can't buy them, but uh, um, it's a little strange working on the floor, but not bad. I just don't bend over as much as I do. This is the Kaka oil cooler. This thing's crap. I'm going to say it a dozen times before we're done here. But um, I'm going to see if I can split this case next, I hope. The pulley will not come off, so I'll do that after the crank is out and in my hand. I don't have a two-drop puller. That's what you need. I've been heating the uh, pulley itself around um, with the map gas torch just to get it red. It doesn't really get it red. gets it hot enough to get it off. I wouldn't touch it right now. It's pretty hot. But um, I was looking at the look at the little look at the bearings. 
Oh, they're all copper. Got to replace all those. Um, this case has to be split. They they just ran it too hot for too long. To put new jugs and stuff on this thing, you're only going to blow it up. Um, it'd be a pain in the neck. It's just a waste of time. Um, I think this is the heavy-duty oil pump because it appears to be cast iron, not aluminum. Uh, and it's got 10 millimeters holding it on, not not 13s. Um, could be the original pump, I don't know. But that's going to leave too. We've got to do something better. He's going to spend a lot of money on this engine, maybe about eight or nine hundred dollars. Um, that's just in parts, just like mine. I did. I think I spent eleven hundred on mine in parts. The whole trike so far was like twenty-two hundred dollars. I say stick with the single port heads. We can just clean them up and reuse them, or rebuild the dual ports and spend some money. Um, that's it. Having fun. I'll take more pictures. Okay, these are all the parts for Rich's engine. I split the case open. This is his crank. It's not too bad, despite being heated very much. This is his pressure plate. His jugs and the wires, his dual carbs, his pistons that are all burned up, his heads, and case is split open. It's right here. Now that's engine number two, actually. I put a notch in it right there and right there. So when I have these cleaned, I'll know one from the other. That's his engine. This is my extra engine. There's all the parts for my extra engine are right there. I think I'm going to build a 15. And here's my extra training. And I have another engine case. I'm walking right by it. I'm going to take this one all apart, too. This is a nice one. This was not the automatic that had that uh, the thin flywheel on the back. Um, but it uses the offset uh, oil cooler. And it's a this is a double relief case with small studs. See how these two studs are shorter than the big studs? Um, I do believe I do have all the studs, but i got to get this apart so it can be cleaned and hot tanked and all that, too. It's not cracked. It's not rotted. It's got one little pounded bracket, but it's been kicked around quite a bit. But let's take this one apart, too. I officially have more Volkswagen engines than your average person. This is Rich's engine. The case alone, everything's out. Distributor drive, everything. All the bushings, bearings, cams, whatever, gaskets. Uh, it's ready to be hot tanked and then reassembled with some 1642 jugs. Uh, the heads are right here. I'm going to rebuild those. We'll go into dual port versus the single ports he had, which are over here. Now these single ports will probably end up going on one of these two. We'll build, we'll build a little 1500 single port engine. Um, I have another set of jugs here, so why not? We can build a 15 and then I'll have an extra case that'll be nice and clean. Um, the difference is, well, his has the smaller 10 millimeter studs, or what do they call it, an M6, but it's a 10 millimeter nut. These were the 13 nuts. That's a 13 nut. This one has a casting that sticks out on the front. It is a H engine. This one, this one is a, I forget what this one is, because I didn't look at it. This is an AH, and this is an H. What is his? His was an F something. F0219270. We looked it up, it was 1500. This one I know is a 1600 because it's a small stud. Shorter studs in the middle. Um, that'll be a nice one to rebuild when it's all cleaned up. But all three of these are going to be hot tanked. This one's going to be ridiculous. 1641. It's um, going to have remote oil filter. The doghouse oil cooler is going to be used, the factory one. Oh, that's bent. I see that now. The little, the little tube's bent over. I probably bent it. Whacking that pulley off that did not want to come off. Um, this one probably be a 15 single port, and this will just be an extra case. Unless this one's better than this one, we'll see. It'll be that one or this one. We'll end up being up a being a 1500. The parts everywhere, but it's all fun. Whew. All of his exhaust pieces are here. He actually just left. Trike sitting out in the rain. Look at all the case bolts, the bearings are out, the oil pump, oil pump bolts, nuts. Here's his crank. Here's the crank that was in the mud engine. The last one that was uh, not even complete. I think the parts to it might be in this pile. So if I have another, if I have the rest of the uh, short, the small studs, you can put that one together too. There's all the long studs from his. Here's his dual carbs. Same stuff, just getting better. My work phone, piece of crap. 
tablet. So, we got to find a place to have these things clean because I haven't had that done in years. Um, I do know it comes out really nice. I used to work for a place called Methuen Auto Supply. They haven't been open in, oh, 20 years probably, at least. But they had a hot tank system in another building that uh, I used to get stuff tanked for free. Well, not anymore. Now i got to find a place that does it, and I think it's going to be like 100 bucks. Not a big deal. Okay, that's it for me for today. I'm absolutely Volkswagen worn out. I've taken out crank pins and bushings and bearings and you name it. Everything is out of these three engines. Have a good day. I will talk to you soon.